Hi, welcome to Storytime today with Mrs. Amy. How is your day going? Mine is wonderful. I hope that you enjoy Storytime as much as I do. Today, we're talking about penguins, and I think penguins are super fun. I've even got penguins on today. All right, here, here, we're all here. Here, here, we're all here. Here, here, we're all here. We're all here at story time. I'm really glad you joined me today. All right, let's start off our first book today. It's called Rupert Penguin. It's by Amy Rosenberg. Rupert Penguin lives where it is snowy and cold. His house is made of rocks and ice. Rupert is going to meet his friends. Rupert and his friends play in the snow. They build snow creatures and a castle. Rupert's friends zoom down the hill on their sled. Rupert whizzes past them on his skis. Wait for us, Rupert, his friends call. At the bottom of the hill, Rupert skates on the frozen pond. I wonder where my friends are, he says to the little birds and the bunnies. Rupert heads for home. His friends shower him with snow. Surprise! They call, we caught up with you, Rupert. Now Rupert is home. Mother greets him with a hug, and father has a hot pie waiting. It's fun to play in the snow, says Rupert, but I love coming home to my warm, cozy kitchen. Me too. I love my warm, cozy kitchen. All right, are you ready for our big, big, big song? Here we go. This is big, big, big. And this is small, small, small. This is short, short, short. And this is tall, tall, tall. This is fast, fast, fast. And this is slow, slow, slow. This is yes, yes, yes. And this is no, no, no. Very good. All right, the next book I have for us is called Penguins Are Cool. And this is by the American Museum of Natural History. This is nonfiction, which means it's real. Which bird has flippers and swims underwater? Penguins! Penguins are birds. They have wings, but they cannot fly. Penguins use their wings to swim fast in the water. They use their feet and tails to turn. Penguins have two coats of feathers. Penguins also have a layer of fat under their skin. This fat keeps penguins warm. Some penguins live in very cold places like on this ice, but some penguins live in warmer places too. This map shows all the places where penguins nest. And if you look here, we're right here. So penguins don't nest where we live in North America. Penguins swim in Earth's Southern Ocean. They swim in cold water, even if they really live in warmer places. The water's still really cold. A penguin's colors help it hide from enemies. Penguins have dark backs, do you see that? That look like the dark water below them. And penguins have white bellies that look like light from the sun above. A penguin's colors keep it safe from predators above and below. Penguins spend most of their time in the ocean. They even eat there. This Gen 2 penguin is about to catch a fish. It catches food with its beak and holds on to it. Penguins spend most of their time in the water, but they lay their eggs on land. These Gen 2 penguins build nests. They sit on their eggs to keep them warm. And I'm not gonna go through all of the penguins, but these are Emperor, Little Blue, Macaroni, and Rockhopper are just four of the different 17 kinds that they are, that, of ink penguins that there are. See all the different types of penguins they've got. Something fun is macaroni penguins like to dance. Can you dance? Oh, and look, some of them jump off in the water. 
They slide on their tummies, their bellies. They're like little sleds. Penguins can be tall or small. They slip and slide. Penguins swim, walk, eat, and nest. Penguins are cool birds. I completely agree. They are cool birds. All right. So the next song we have is Me Complete. You ready? I have 10 little fingers and 10 little toes, two little arms and one little nose, one little mouth and two little ears, two little eyes for smiles and tears, one little head and two little feet, one little chin and that's me complete. And remember, you are special. All right, the next song I'm gonna do is I'm a Little Penguin. You ready? I'm a little penguin, round and fat. Here is my beak and here is my hat. Winter days are coming, hear me shout. Please don't toss my mittens out. I've gotta be warm, right? That's a fun song. Let's do that one again, ready? I'm a little penguin, round and fat. Here is my beak and here is my hat. Winter days are coming, so hear me shout. Please don't toss my mittens out. Great job, that's a fun one. All right, I have one last little book for us today. Be Brave, Little Penguin. This is by Giles Andre. In the cold Antarctic sunshine where the icy ocean ends, lived a family of penguins with all their penguin friends. There were fat ones, there were thin ones, there were penguins short and tall, but little penguin Pip-Pip was the smallest one of all. And while the other penguins were out swimming wild and free, little Pip-Pip played alone, too frightened of the sea. Names like Scaredy Pip-Pip echoed in his ears. He was sad and he was lonely, but he couldn't show his tears. What's the matter, Pip-Pip, said his daddy one fine day. You can't be scared of water. What a silly thing to say. Be gentle, said his mommy, taking Pip-Pip by the hand. We all have certain fears that might be hard to understand. Come on, little Pip-Pip, dip your toes in here just so. The water's calm and still now. You can do it nice and slow. But what if the water's freezing? Mommy, what if I get in and it's just too dark and deep for me? And what if I can't swim? And what if there are monsters who smell me from their den and they slither up and eat me and I'm never seen again? I understand, little one, said his mommy with a kiss. But Pip-Pip, what if now you try to think of it like this? What if in that water there are friends for you to meet? And what if it is light and warm and full of treats to eat? Take my hand, my little one. Don't worry, I'm right here. Please trust me, little Pip-Pip. Be brave and never fear. Slowly, Pip-Pip made his way toward the water's edge. He stared down at the ocean from the slippery, icy ledge. Then he looked back at his mommy and as his small heart thumped, he closed his eyes and held his breath. <gasps> and little Pip-Pip jumped, splash! For a while, his mommy waited. Then she cried out, something's wrong. Pip-Pip, please, where are you? You've been under way too long. So she leaped into the ocean, diving deep into the blue. Then suddenly from nowhere came a little voice she knew. Mommy, mommy, over here. Hey, mommy, look at me. I'm swimming, mommy, swimming. Look, I'm swimming, can you see? She turned in spinning circles through the water bright and clean. Swam Pip-Pip with the biggest smile the world has ever seen.
and as she watched her little one right there before her eyes, he burst up through the surface and he soared into the skies. That looks like fun. Do you think so? I think so. Woohoo! cried little Pip. Look, Mommy, I can fly. It's really not that tricky. You should try it. Mommy, try! Oh, Pip Pip laughed his mommy as she watched him with a grin. I don't know about flying, but oh my, you've learned to swim. Then his friends all gathered round as Pip Pip landed with a bump and said, sometimes all you have to do is just be brave and jump. What a wonderful story about life in general. Sometimes it's hard, but just take that jump and you're going to be okay. All right. I have a couple more songs for us and then we're ready to go. All right. This one's called Penguins Having Fun to the tune of Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star. Penguins, penguins having fun, waddling in the winter sun, waddling fast and waddling slow, Waddling to and waddling fro. Penguins, penguins having fun. Waddling in the winter sun. Yay, I like penguins. They're super fun. All right, you ready for our colors? Here we go. Red and yellow, green and blue. These are the colors over you. Red as a flower, green as a tree. Yellow as the sun and blue as the sea. Red and yellow, green and blue. These are the colors over you. All right. Goodbye, goodbye. We'll see you soon. See you soon. See you soon. Goodbye, goodbye. We'll see you soon on another day. Don't forget this coming Saturday, December 12th at 9 a.m. on Baxter County Library's Facebook page, live virtual story time. Santa will be reading some books and singing songs. Remember, it's virtual, Facebook live, 9 a.m. this coming Saturday, December 12th. Have a wonderful week. Bye.